The Word of God tells us that God spread out the heavens. And there's astronomical, astrological evidence that uh, there was no Big Bang. The Big Bang is a fallacy. Evan, your claim that the Big Bang is a fallacy is as incredibly ignorant as your denial that evolution is not true. You are contradicting proven science, mountains of evidence, and most likely the entire scientific community. I fail to fathom the narcissism and dishonesty it takes to look into a camera and exclaim that there is astrological evidence that there was no Big Bang. First of all, Evan, you are evidently so ignorant you think astrological evidence shows there was no Big Bang. This is amazingly ignorant since astrological evidence is astrology and astrology is pseudoscience. So of course, astrological evidence would not disprove cosmological evidence. Second of all, the Big Bang theory, like evolution, has mounds of evidence that attest to its truth, including the evidence from large-scale homogeneity, the cosmic microwave background radiation, abundances of light elements, time dilation and supernova brightness curves, and isotropy. You have to be a huge megalomaniac and a mentally disturbed narcissist if you think theories that have established empirical evidence are fallacious or not true just because you said so. Big Bang is a fallacy for a number of reasons, but I'm just going to center upon one for now. The reason is, black holes can't explode. It's that simple. So a black hole can't explode, can't go boom. Okay. Uh, that's just impossible. Now, the evolutionists argue against that, that, uh, well, the singularity wasn't a black hole because it had dark matter in it. The inability of black holes to explode has nothing to do with the Big Bang happening or not happening. I can say with all sincerity that your claim, Evan, is so asinine, it's incredible. It's equivalent to saying there is no evolution because the sun can't revolve at faster than light speed around the earth. It's that stupid. The inability of the sun to revolve at faster than light speed around the earth has absolutely nothing to do with evolution happening or not happening. And in no way does that inability prevent evolution from occurring. Same thing. The inability of black holes exploding has absolutely nothing to do with the Big Bang occurring or not occurring. And black holes not exploding does not in any way prevent the Big Bang theory from being true. That claim you made, Evan, is just an incredible intellectual blunder. I don't know how many times you have to be told, but evolution, as in biological evolution, has nothing to do with cosmology or other things like abiogenesis. Evan, you can't imagine how ignorant you sound constantly spouting such confused nonsense. Further, Evan, you also blundered when you implied that there was a singularity. There was no singularity, and there can't be. A singularity is a zero-dimensional point of infinite temperature and density. This is impossible, as you cannot have infinite density or temperature within a zero volume. And I've never heard of any person exclaiming that a singularity is not a black hole because it had dark matter in it. That was so ridiculous and pathetic, it's hard to comprehend where you got this notion from or what compelled you to utter it on a public recording. Evan, I strongly suggest you make some attempt to educate and inform yourself on the issues you try to attack and impugn and stop spouting such uneducated and embarrassingly wrong trash to your audience over and over and over. Well, yes, that, that's the that's the current theory. Blah blah blah.